cooking channel. This is Wally's Kitchen. So guys, today I have a new recipe of bajia. I'm doing my bajia with unga wadengu, also known as ground flour, also known as Swahili pakora. So guys, let's go through my, my ingredients so that you can know what I'm talking about. So we have our ground flour here. As you can see, this is what I'll be using for my bajias. Then I have coriander leaves on this side. I uh, will be using onions. We have our baking powder, some salt, uh, turmeric and water. So let's go through my process. So guys, I'll be measuring our, our flour. Uh, this is half kg, as you can see it's 500 ml. Because we are doing half kg, we don't want to do so much. Yeah. So I'm going to stir like that. Then I'm going to add salt, one teaspoon, like that. So I'm using this baking powder. One teaspoon as well. Then I'm going to do turmeric. One teaspoon. So I'm going to stir. So then I'm going to add our onions. Make sure your onions are cubed like cubed shape, not the round shapes. Next. And lastly, I'm going to put our coriander leaves of the near. Then you mix well. So guys, now we're going to add water. This is just room temperature, normal room temperature. We add water because we need to form a paste. So guys, now we want to deep fry our bajias. And with these bajias, there are no potatoes here. Just strictly the ground flour. So let's see. You can do small size, you can do big size, depending on how you love it. Make sure your heat is hot but low heat. So once they're brown in color, you turn them. So guys, this is the final product of our bajias. You can decide to do with chili or with mayonnaise or mustard together here with our fresh orange juice. Yes, yeah, you can see. And on the other side, I have some tamarind sauce. This is also known as ukwaju. Thank you so, so much, guys, for watching. If you are new here, kindly subscribe, comment, share, so that anytime I'm doing such new recipes, you are among the first people to be notified. Toodles!